Our students who participate in early college, when they do matriculate to that four-year university, they are well better prepared for the rigor opportunities that we have for students. For example, the opportunities here today. Hello, and welcome to The Focus Show. I'm Jordan Hester. Today, my guest is Dr. Lisa Spiller, who is the professor at, with the Luther School of Business at Christopher Newport University. She's also the author of a new textbook called Selling and Sales Management, Developing Skills for Success. Welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm doing great. That's Thank great. you. Uh, first, we want to talk about you. Uh, when did you first start working at CNU? 31 years ago. I started in 1991 when we moved here to the Virginia Peninsula, and I've been working in the School of Business um, all those years. Great, great. Um, what reward do you get from teaching? I love teaching. I love um, inspiring my students, helping them achieve success, watching them grow, learn. Um, I love helping um, my uh, students work on real world projects and interface with the business community in order to gain experiences mm -hmm. that helps them hit the road running when they graduate. And um, I, I love all aspects of um, being a professor. And when I came to the university, it was actually CNC so long ago, but um, the the beauty of the campus has really changed, but what we've done in the classroom is still the magic, and that hasn't changed. Um, I just love um, every aspect of being a professor there. Great. Uh, where did the idea of writing the book, Selling and Sales Management, Developing Skills for su Success, come from, and what inspired you to write it? Okay, well, uh, a few years ago, I was um, awarded the Brout Professorship, which was a, a professorship that enables an um, um, educator to pursue a new area uh, and teach a course and develop a new course. And at that time, we've never had a sales course in all of my 31 years. And um, sales has really morphed. It's really changed. It used to be thought as of, you know, the used car salesman, the negative stereotypes, um, you know, door-to-door -door salesman. And it's really changed, and it's more about relationships and not about transactions. And um, more and more, students, college students are, there's so many opportunities, and college students are really needing education in um, sales and selling and sales management. Mm -hmm. So I um, put in a proposal for the Brout Professorship, and I was awarded that to develop a course and conduct research on selling and sales management. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, I started to investigate the textbooks to see which textbooks I might use. Yeah. And I started reaching out to colleagues across my discipline, mm -hmm. and I quickly learned that the textbooks were very dated, mm -hmm. and they weren't modern. Yeah. They were not uh, representative of how selling is really happening in today's world. Um, and so I, um, with a lot of encouragement from my discipline colleagues, I thought, well, I know how to write textbooks from writing other textbooks in my past. Uh, I guess I'm going to start down that road. And so I agreed to publish a, or to author a textbook uh, on, on the subject. And that's pretty much how it began. Great, great. Has there ever been anybody that has really like used your textbook and used it in their future careers? And if so, what, what, what was that? But the, this book is actually, when you think about selling and sales management, the very number one skill in selling, um, a sort of soft skill, is communication. Mm -hmm. So this is a book about business communication mm -hmm. and how to be more effective in your communication. Mm -hmm. Everyone can benefit from that. Yeah. So I have students um, who are now alumni, actually I just had one last night, mm -hmm. to uh, email me saying how much she's using every aspect of the education, how the book has been so helpful. Mm -hmm. um, it's a keeper book, it's not a resell back yeah. to the bookstore kind of book. Yeah. Um, and so. Um, I am I'm very happy that people are using it and that it's becoming a, um, an asset to them mm -hmm. and their future and their career future. Um, so the alumni, are the, don't forget, this is a textbook for yeah. the most part. Yeah. That doesn't mean that business professionals aren't able to purchase it. They mm -hmm. are, and I, they have, and mm -hmm. I've heard from some of them. They've purchased it on Amazon, and I hear back from them as well. Um, but. Um, Again, it was written with the intention of educating and a more of a modern focus of what selling is today. Great, great. Uh, we will have more with Dr. Spil Spiller after these short messages. Stay tuned. Explore Virginia's natural heritage at the Virginia Living Museum, which is home to more than two 
250 species, such as fish, reptiles, birds, and even alligators. The Virginia Living Museum has a wide variety of fish and animals to see. They also have the Dinosaur Trail and the Children's Garden for Kids, so come visit today. One of the largest municipal parks east of the Mississippi River, Newport News Park offers a wide variety of activities and experiences. These include archery, boating, disc golf, playgrounds scattered throughout, hiking on many historical trails through Civil and Revolutionary War sites, and a discovery center which lets visitors explore Virginia and Newport News Park's magnificent nature and vast wildlife, ranging from plants to animals. For more information, contact Newport News Park at 13560 Jefferson Avenue or at 757-886-7912. Welcome back to The Focus Show. My name is Jordan Hester and I am here with Dr. Spiller who is a professor at CNU and she also has written two books. Um, we've talked about um, your first or the, your newest mm -hmm. textbook. Um, can we talk a little bit more about your um, first textbook which is Direct Digital and Data Driven Marketing? How does that textbook compare to this one? Okay, so that textbook was written a um, long time ago, and that book is now in the fifth edition, the big book. Um, and um, I call it 3D marketing, I don't know if the, because it's DDD. Yeah. But it's, it's more of a, a book about um, the high tech, and um, well, today it's about the high tech, and it didn't start that way because when direct marketing first began, it, there was no not much automa automation as far as digital technologies. Um, but really, today's day and age, it's very modern. So this book is more about your know, data analytics, um, database relationship driven, um, that based on the data that you collect, and it uh, focused on the social media and the use of uh, digital media to interact with. Um, potential customers or more regular customers. And um, so it's a little different from that perspective. The, this book is really about how you interact with someone when you don't want to necessarily interact face to face. Mm -hmm. The sales book is more about interacting on a one to one face to face basis. Um, however, and this is true of so many businesses, um, we find that there's the blurring of the two because so many businesses now, even though they had a face-to-face -face and they were maybe out, what we call outside selling, um, we, especially with COVID, we start to see more communicate via digital technologies, video conferencing and, and measures like that, platforms that um, they didn't use before. So um, we're seeing a little bit of a blurring, but this is more of a book about um, communicating one-on-one, -on -one, individually, um, and interacting that way. Yeah. These books that you have written are obviously come from your own experiences. Yes. Uh, where, were there any classes or experiences that you recall that helped you uh, write about these Okay, books? so my experiences, yes, these books have come from my experiences, but they've come from my childhood as well. I've dedicated this book to my father. Mm -hmm. um, he was an entrepreneur. And I grew up in a family where he was um, always selling something, um, and, and I learned his ways of uh, the, practicing the golden rule when it comes to your customers, mm -hmm. you know, taking care of each other and doing unto others. And I've also um, learned about the baker's dozen, mm -hmm. always exceed expectations, throw in that 13th donut or bagel mm -hmm. or whatever have you, mm -hmm. and exceed expectations, developing relationships with your 
uh, customers is paramount. And so I dedicated that, this book to him because he has really inspired me um, f f decades ago. Mm -hmm. However, I also have had a number of family members and friends who have gone into sales in some field of sales all over the country, mm -hmm. all over the world actually. I've, I've, I've featured a lot of people in the book and um, I've tried to tell their stories, all different industries, and th that's what I've tried to, pr tried to um, portray in this book. Um, the book is marketed globally, so I had to reach out and, and investigate and contact people who, from other countries and talk about and get their stories about how they use um, selling and, and sales skills. Mm -hmm. So as far as an inspiration for my experiences, yes, um, we all sell something. Yeah. And so um, even back in my childhood when I would sell Girl Scout cookies, yeah. okay, as a proud former Girl Scout, mm -hmm. um, honestly, selling is, you, you always will be selling something yeah. and you'll always be selling yourself. Yeah. Anytime you go out for a, a position and you have an interview, you're selling yourself. Yeah. And so a lot of inspirations have come along, along the way. A lot of people mm -hmm. and a lot of hands have helped me um, in writing this book from a standpoint of allowing me to feature their stories and their experiences in this book. Great, great. Um, what book would you um, recommend to somebody who is interested in starting their own business? So starting a business? Yeah. If you're starting a business, it depends on the type of business you want to start. So say you want to start a business that's going to be purely digital, online, and you're not going to have a storefront, you're gonna, your medium is going to be your marketplace. Um, for that, I would recommend the, the 3D book, Direct Digital and Data Driven Marketing, because then you're not going to necessarily interface with your customers, directly, you will be doing it, um, you know, not face to face, you'll be doing it directly through a medium, through a platform. Um, and so that would probably be the book for a new startup that would be uh, a business that would be marketed online um, or um, some services. Um, however, if you do plan to uh, have a business where you are going to interface with customers and pros prospective customers, mm -hmm. and even services that are sold where you would actually, you know, the, the service deliverer is the, the product, mm -hmm. um, you would want to check out the sales, um, selling and, and sales management book because that's all about how you communicate with each other and be more effective in your communication and um, how you would prospect for new customers and, and clients. So I guess it depends on the type of business. Um, what um, what would you do to encourage somebody who's interested in getting into having their own business but is not too sure about it? How mm -hmm. would you encourage them to? So continuing businesses and having to grow their business and continue. Um, if you're not starting a new business, again, it depends on, on the type of business you are operating. As I said just a moment ago, it really depends on what you're looking to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, both books are relevant and both books are state of the art as much as anyone could make anything steady art when you print. Once you print, yeah. let's face it, yeah. it's out of date. It seems like the second it hits the press. Yeah. But um, it, it, they both are designed to help um, business people, entrepreneurs, really anyone who is out in the business area. And again, like I said, everybody sells something yeah. and we all sell ourselves. So and this, this sales book, really the selling book is really all about the communication. So both can help depending upon what type of business or industry you are in. Good, good. Um, um, is there any other book in the works that you have planning, or maybe not in the works, but you want to do in the future? Okay, yeah, that's a great question. So I've written um, book textbooks, and I've enjoyed it, um, but I think I'm ready to start writing something that's maybe more of a um, more of a how-to, smaller, fun book. Mm -hmm. I mean, these books are large, um, and they've got test banks with them, and they've got you know slideshows, um, you know templates all through with them, and they're marketed to um, primarily to college campuses, to professors who would use them in the classroom. So the books that I would like to write now are more like smaller self-help books. Mm -hmm. And one that I have in the works is um, going to be co-authored with Sylvia Weinstein Craft, um, who is the editor and publisher of The Oyster Pointer. And she and I talked about this long ago, and um, it's going to, this book series of, uh, that we're going to call it is um, Plat The Platinum Rules. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be self-help books for helping people to just, from a professional development standpoint, be um, a sharper and um, be um, 
more polished and prepared for any aspect of life. And so that, The Platinum Rules, is the first book that I'm going to start to work on. I have a few novels yeah, cool. in my mind as well, um, maybe not so related to business, um, but uh, that we'll see how that goes. That would be great. Um, that's all that we have today for The Focus Show. I'm your host, Jordan Hester. Um, I would like to thank our guest, Dr. Spiller, for being with us today. Um, and don't forget to go to our YouTube channel uh, to see other Focus Shows at NMPS Telecom. And while you're there, hit that sub subscribe button and join us next time for another episode of The Focus Show. Take care.